Howdy y'all. I've got with me here the Meandering Maker M3 Backcountry Bushcraft Pack. It is 60 liters. It is a monster and I thought I'd pack this up and give you guys an idea of what you can fit in here. I will tell you that it's actually not completely full. There's a little bit of room still here but I packed in pretty much everything I could think of so let's go through it. So on the front I've got a small axe here. This was a uh, this is a souped up hot rod flying council tool flying fox from Brian S at a Hawk Creek knife and axe. So that's sweet. Fits right down in there perfectly. On either side of the axe sleeve, there are D-rings to which I like to clip my gloves. And there's four of them, so you can clip pretty much anything there you want. Um, in the front pouches, so these front pouches are gigantic and. Um, so I like to compartmentalize things when I can and keep like items together. So in this front pouch, I've got my water filter and my big Mondo Pathfinder um, canteen. And then on the other side, I've got my headlamp. I always keep my headlamp here. This is my favorite place to keep it because if it gets dark and I forget to grab my headlamp, which I often do, it's easy to grab right here out of the front. So that's always where I put my headlamp. And then I've got um, a knife, so an Adventure 4, Adventure Sworn Explorer, and my matching fire steel from Scrawny Lumberjack. Um, so I've got that up front, and then a first aid, aid kit, which I also keep for a quick handy access. Then on the side, so again, so I had done a video a while ago about how what I really wanted to try to do was make it so that these side pouches could be for your most vital stuff that you want to get to without having to go inside the pack at all. So um, I think I've accomplished that. They're five inches by five inches and 12 inches tall. And on one side, I've got my the, the main components of my shelter system. On the inside, I've got my sleeping stuff, but on the outside, I've got my the DD Magic tar Carpet. This is just a little, I think, uh, like meter by one meter by one meter ground tarp. It's just a great little thing to put down on the ground um, as a ground sheet before you put a big tarp down. And then I've got a War Bonnet Outdoors um, Mountain Fly tarp. And this is what I. This is part of my hammock system. This is the this is the shelter part of my hammock system. And then I've also got a giant meandering maker large pouch with just tons and tons and tons of cordage. So all of that stuff fits in this one side pouch. And then on the other side pouch, I've got cooking stuff. So I've got my cooksa here and I've got my other meandering maker large possible pouch with coffee and a spoon and my spork and my um, my really wasn't finest canoe spoon just all the good stuff for just grabbing a coffee some um, condiments that kind of thing in there right there on the side and then i also have in here my copper bucket well used copper bucket and inside that i have my bush buddy it, they're not designed to go together, but it just fits in there. So on this one side, I've got everything that I need to, if I've got dehydrated food, to uh, boil water, do dehydrated food. I've got my bush buddy so that I can make fire right there on the trail, or if I don't want to make a whole big fire. And then I've got my pouch with all my, uh, my stuff ready for coffee, condiments, all that stuff. So all of that on the outside before I even have to mess with um, getting inside the pack. So then uh, on this side, so as you might know, behind all pouches on my packs, the space behind the pouches is open so you can slide stuff in here. And that's including the, the case, that's also the case on the front pouches. I like to slide my, my straps down in there, it looks nice and tidy, but you can also get a knife down in there or a, a small folding saw. So on this side, I've got my Oreo 21 folding saw. This is a great place for that. And then on the other side, I've got my poles, and these poles actually fasten to the outside of that war bonnet's tarp, and it 
extend or it opens up the, uh, the shape of the tarp. So I always put those there. But that's also a great place for tent poles. Um, it's a great place for um, if you're bow hunting, you can put arrows there. So anything that is long and flat on one side, the bottom is not sewn. So if you want to put an ax through here, you can. And then on the other side, it is sewn to the bottom. So it will hold whatever you put in there. Um, so that's all on the outside before even getting into the pack. And then on the inside, Oh, and as you can see, so if you are absolutely out of room, <laughs> you can, we've got four bedroll strap tabs on the top, so you can lash stuff to the top, and there's also tabs on the bottom. See, so someone was asking about that just yesterday, so there are still tabs on the bottom, so you can put a wool blanket, a skin, uh, whatever. So if you absolutely don't have enough room in all of this, you can lash stuff to the outside as well. And of course, Meandering Maker bedroll straps are made specifically to fit perfectly inside of these. Like these are specifically a little bit wider than the straps themselves, so they go really, really great together. So, a little hint for you there. Okay, so drawstring closure. So as you can see, like even this, is, if it's super, super full, you can really get it cinched down. So if you fill this to the absolute top, you still have tons of room. Like I've got about probably four inches still at the top of this. So Inside I put, um, so I've got a towel and then I just rolled up just a big bath towel sort of to represent maybe an extra shirt and a couple pairs of socks. Um, you know, and you're, unless you're going on a really long extended like canoe trip or something, you're probably not bringing tons of extra clothing, but um, so I just put this in here just to make it real so that, you know, there's not one little thing I'm leaving out. So that represents a little bit of clothes. And then I've got a dry bag here with food and this has got, I think, five mountain house dehydrated meals. It's got a box of fish fry in it. I've got a Jiffy muffin box in here um, and then some coffee. So that's, if you're doing the dehydrated thing, that's, I mean, geez, that's almost a week's worth of food. Um, and then I've got a, this sort of a prototype Meandering Maker Possibles pouch that I'll be releasing at some point. And this has got my fire stuff in it. So it's got my, um, all my tinder, it's also got my pocket bellows, got my made by John traveling strop, so just sort of typical fossils pouch, I keep that right on the top. And then I've got a my Foxlight gear possibles pouch, I love this, this is what I use for all my toiletries and stuff, this is the only non-meandering maker Castle's pouch that I own or that I carry, so that should tell you how much I like Cheryl's stuff, and I love that it's orange, so this is where I keep all the meds and all that stuff. And then, so sleep system, so that's what's left. So I've got in here um, my War Bonnet Outdoors top quilt, my War Bonnet Outdoors under quilt, and my War Bonnet Outdoors hammock, and a TJM Products grill. Now I actually, so this is a great um, handmade wrought iron grill. I actually can fit this in the side pouch here, but I like putting this back here for a little bit of extra rigidity. So um, not all the cook stuff is in the side pouch, but pretty close. Um, and then I've got my little Sea to Summit pillow. And then to round it all off, I put a, um, a big um, foam pad that I made uh, for myself to put in here, but you could put any, you could put a Thermarest or you know, some people like to put actually a plastic, a piece of plastic back there. Um, but you, you definitely want something to lay flat in the back of the pack um, to just kind of keep things from poking at you. Um, this particular model does not have the, um, a sleeve for the back support, but that's an option. And that option's still available. So I make it so that there's a, a lined sleeve on the inside that this slips into, and it'll keep that straight. So. Um, so yeah, so that's what all's in here. This model also does not have the zipper pouch lid or any of the zipper compartments just because I was kind of prototyping still, but that's also an option. So you can actually add a zipper pouch here and a zipper pouch on the inside for even more carrying. Um, and then of course on the back, there's a sleeve for your waist belt and you can add um, uh, attachments for a sternum strap, which you also can get from me. So, yeah, that's, you know, the biggest space suckers are 
your sleep gear, right? So whether this is a sleeping bag or whatever, um, and I kind of look at it if you're if you're doing the, the tent thing, then you know you're not doing a bottom quilt and a top quilt, but you're doing a tent and a sleeping bag or a tent and a top quilt. So it's kind of one for one. Um, if you're a ground dweller and you know you're doing the hardcore, just putting up a tarp and sleeping on the ground, then you could probably bring one of your children in here. It's just there's so much room, and I got to say, what I really like is that it's just the right amount of room. It's not. I mean, I was able to fill this up, and if I was really using this pack, it's because I'm going out for several days and I'd bring some luxuries. If I don't mind humping the extra weight, I might bring a 10-inch 10, 10 cast iron skillet because I love to cook on cast iron, bring a couple beers or a bottle of scotch, so the kind of things that you tend to compromise on if you've got something smaller. But this is just, I feel like it's just the exact right amount of space for all the things that you want and a couple of things that are extra that are nice to have. Um, so I hope that was helpful. And also, I mean, I'm pretty short, but this should give you a sense of kind of how big the pack is compared to me. It's 24 inches tall. Um, so hopefully that gives you a good sense of what all you can get in here. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the production value, but you know, can't be fancy all the time. Thanks guys.